Kairam kids, welcome to Max session. Kids, in last two videos we learnt how to measure length and how to measure weight. Now when we measure length, we can use different things. That is your hand span, your foot. Then we can use a thread. We can use a stick. We can use uh, measuring tape. So whenever you measure the length, we measure it in inches, okay, or centimeters. Then measurement of weight we measure always measuring kilograms. We use a weighing balance. I showed you all different weighing scales also how to measure. If you want to measure our weight, we use different uh, balance. Then if you want to measure things, fruits, vegetable. We use different, uh, we use a weighing scale which has two pans and the right and the left. One side we keep the weight and one side you keep the things and you weigh. As the things go down, your uh, weight is more or less. Then when the balance, both the pans are same, then it's equal weight. Yes or no? Today we are going to learn about measuring how to measure capacity. Children, what is capacity? First of, all, first of all, we should learn that. What is capacity? Let's see. Capacity means how much liquid a container can hold. Bigger container can hold more compared to the smaller container. Okay, kids. Now, look here. See, teacher has a flask. Teacher has a cup. Can you all see? I have a cup. I have a flask now children i'll take water in this cup i'll one cup of water i'll take and i'll pour in this flask so how much it will fill it will fill only half of the flask it will be filled so more water i want to fill the flask more one more cup i will take i'll pour in this so the now my flask is full so how many cups of water did teacher take to fill this flask two that's very good that is called as capacity okay now capa capacity is measured in liters it's measured in liters now let's see what is capacity capacity means the amount that a container will hold capacity means the amount that a container will hold you can measure capacity in lots of different ways. That is, you can use a cup, you can use liters, a bottle, then can you, you can use a pint. Okay. Next. Comparing capacity and the volume. Children, here three glass bottles are given. First bottle is empty. Yes or no? Second bottle, half toffees are filled. And in third bottle, full, the toffees are full filled up yes or no so the first one is empty second is half full and third is full now children here a bucket is given and some bottles are given now i want to fill this bucket now how many bottles will i need to fill the bucket how many um, how many bottles of water is required to fill this bucket four bottles very good now here children, take the container that can hold less. Now first is a can and second is a bucket. Now this can holds two mugs of water and in bucket four mugs. So which needs uh, less? First one that is the can. See the down one. A bottle is given and a jar is given. So in the bottle, it needs three glasses of water and in the jar, we need two glasses of water. So which need less? Jar. Very good. Now, the children here, yeah, mug is given a tea mug and a bucket. Now, the bucket can hold more water than the mug. That is true. A bucket can hold more water than the mug. So, the capacity of the bucket is more than the capacity of the mug. Because mug is small and the bucket is very big. Next. The cup can 
hold less water than the glass. The cup can hold less water than the glass. So the capacity of the cup is less than the capacity of the glass. Why? Because glass is bigger than the cup. Next. Now, this girl is standing. This girl wants to fill up the jug. How many cups of water she will pour to fill the jug, children? Count. Already one is there. One, is, one she, see, one cup is ready to fill the jug. So, how many cups? Five cups. Very good. Now, take the Take the mug having the greater capacity. You have seen see? So which mug will be cup will have the greater capacity. Okay. Next stick the bottle having the smaller capacity. Which bottle will hold little water that is smaller capacity? The second one. So see the first mug is small and the second mug is big. So in the second mug there will the water will be more. So it is greater capacity and the first bottle is big and the second bottle is small so in small in second bottle it's smaller capacity is there so less water will be filled than the first bottle okay next take the containers which are full and cross the containers which are empty it's done for your children just see the containers which are Full, I have ticked them. See, the jug, blue color, yellow, then the milk bottle, the purple cup, the yellow cup, this all are full. And whichever I have crossed, that have, that is empty. Understood, children? So, you all understood the capac capacity, I think. So, everyone, it's very easy and it's a small chapter. Don't take tension. Okay. So, I think so. All I've understood the length, the weight and the capacity. Okay. Children, this last one, you all are going to draw in your rough book if you can. And you put cross and tick. Okay, kids. See you next time. Until then, bye.